Dion, your story is one of a gentleman who went out and uh, joined the military because your family's career was harder. Then you went to the police force. Uh, would you tell a 20 year old that's struggling, just go get a job that has a pension or what would your advice be? So um, with 13 siblings, I have, I, I was trying to count them in my head. It's almost plural dozens of nieces and nephews around this age, 20 to 30. Okay. Yeah. I call them ask holes mm. because ask. I have been approached by almost all of them with questions of how did you do what you did? How can I do what you did? Mm -hmm. And of the dozens, there's one Wayne who's doing it, taking action. Mm -hmm. um, joined the Air Force, been in the Air Force for a while, is in his first duplex house hack. So he's kind of on the, the trajectory to do what I did, or a version of what I did, probably a better one without the bad debt and the mistakes that I made before getting into investing. Mm -hmm. But I think the challenge comes from the perception of time. If you take somebody who's closer to our age and you talk about a goal that's going to happen in two, four, or five years, we know it's going to happen. We know that time's just going to kind of fly by. When you're 20 and you just came out of a situation where every nine months a school year ends, mm -hmm. every three months summer is over, everything is happening just fast, fast, fast. You're, you're 16, you can drive. You're 18, you can vote. You're 21, you can drink legally right now. And all of a sudden, it's decades before there are massive changes in your life. When we say something like, Matt, just show up tomorrow when we're going to work, you're going to be the first in, last out. The average 20 year old is thinking, I'm not committing to a full day. I want what you have now. <laughs> right. And uh -huh. so it's really hard to present the information in a, in a retainable format. So what I've gone with, with any of my either friends or family or nephews and nieces or my kids is if you want something that you see that someone else has, make sure you get the information from them. Right. You don't come to me for relationship advice. You don't get advice on money from broke people, but they're the ones most willing to give it because they're trying to justify why they don't have money. And, you know, if you can figure out a way to, pr to present the information to where a young person is willing to even take it in, I think you win the battle. And for me, that's been obviously rich dad, poor dad. Hmm. Uh, for several, it's been giving away the book uh, one rental at a time, but it could be, uh, not everybody is into reading, kind of like Matt. Matt is not a reader, right? And so I've said the quote before, the person who doesn't read has no advantage over the person who can't read. So if you have somebody in your life who just refuses to take in information that way, which podcast? Hmm. Which we, it, so if you could find a way to isolate Graham Stephan and meet Kevin from 2017 to 2019 mm -hmm. and just take those specific <clears throat> videos and send it to your average 20-year-old, I think they would take it in. So I, I can, I still send minority mindset. He hasn't gone off the deep end of YouTube fame. And, and now everything has to be whatever it takes to get you into my syndication that the, the large, large YouTube uh, people tend to go. Which way is that person at that age going to take the information in the, the easiest? And that's how I would like to present it. Instead of saying, here's what you need to do. It's here's where you can find the information to help you do it.